For your dog, every reward is important. These are the highlights of their day, whether it's the big dinners or the small treats, whether it's food or going for a walk or having playtime or having a nap. These are their key points of the day. The small rewards in learning that we are using give the dog feedback. They tell the dog they've just done a great job. Would you like to go again? So it's important that this delivery is smooth, it's done with sincerity, and we don't cause any conflict. But some dogs are going to be permanently hungry and this causes them to grab that food. This can originate when they are baby puppies in a litter and they have to compete to be able to get any food at all. This can set up a, a lifetime habit. Also, the larger breeds, they have hollow legs, so there's never going to be enough food and every piece is, is regarded as the last chance they'll ever get to eat. But we have to take our responsibility for being able to deliver these rewards and not cause any conflict. It is very easy for the dog to get confused between trying to follow the lure and trying to eat the treat at the same time. We need to be perfectly clear the difference between luring, which is follow this food, and changing our hands so the dog clearly knows at what point they can take the food. Delivering food from your fingertips is, is so unclear for the dogs. That encourages them to actually grab our hands. Now, we might not personally manage getting a mouthful of um, saliva and gob all over our fingertips, but for somebody else, this is going to cause them to draw backwards as they see the dog's mouth opening over their hand. The very action of offering the dog a piece of food, but actually then pulling backwards, causes the dog to lunge forward and grab even more. The three key points to remember, when we go towards the dog with food that they are going to eat, travel with a closed hand. This is particularly important if you have marked and the dog knows the hand coming towards them contains food. Make sure you know exactly the right position for your hand to arrive where the dog can take the food without changing their position or losing balance. Thirdly, open your hand clearly and at this point the dog will be able to take the food without any conflict. This is a much cleaner delivery. There is no conflict and the flat hand makes it easier for the dog to take the food. This shows where the hand should travel to and then open for the dog to take the food. But because the hand is open before then, the dog lunges forward. Here, the delivery to a dog standing means by putting the hand in the right spot, she doesn't have to come forwards and she's able to hold her balance in the stand position. What tends to happen is our mind is focused on the success of the behaviour. So the dog has arrived and stood on the platform. We then just go straight into the feeding without being aware of how accurate that process needs to be. So just take a moment, see where the dog is, focus your eye on the destination of your hand, travel there with the closed hand and then open it when the dog is able to take the food without losing their position. When the dog can clearly read your intent to give them a treat, some will come forward extremely fast and have no issues about taking skin along with the food. The more you hesitate and are unclear, the more anxious it's going to make the dogs. So be clear, protect the food with a semi-closed hand and travel directly to the perfect spot for the dog to be able to take the food without losing their position. 
at that point, you open your hand. Some dogs are angels at taking food from our hands. Others will always find it difficult. So let's change and make sure our delivery is clean for that dog. For some dogs, once they are familiar with our reward predicting stimulus, which is the marker or your hand dipping into a pocket, we end up with the explosion of pleasure at the forthcoming food. This is the same dog that's also likely to put their mouth around your hand. Instead, take some time to practice developing a good eye for the exact point you need to deliver the food and dipping your hand in and out of your pocket so the dog doesn't see every movement as an opportunity for explosion. This is a habit developed because we are not paying attention to the process. This is a beautifully clear process for a dog that is a confirmed snapdragon. Consider feeding onto a surface. The food will travel still with the closed hand, but the palm is facing downwards. No hesitation. Make sure your hand is moving clearly to the perfect spot. As you put it to the floor, pause and the move away of the hand gives the dog the take it signal. Food collection is only going to begin when the dog is cue seeking, making that connection. And she is no longer glued to the pot. It's a clear, can we do some food delivery? Can we work together request from the dog? No more headaches.